Today we are going to learn how to crochet this cute duck bag. We will be using milk cotton yarn for this project. With a 4.5 mm crochet hook. Let's take a look at the capacity inside. It can fit a cell phone. Now let's crochet together. First, we will crochet the main body. Start by making a slip knot with the yarn. Wrap the yarn around the hook twice. Insert the hook into the loop. Pull up a loop. Crochet a single crochet stitch. Then insert the hook into the stitch loop. Pull up a loop. Wrap the yarn around the hook. Pull through both loops at once. This is a decrease stitch. We can place a stitch marker at the first stitch. Then continue crocheting the decrease stitches in the stitch loop. Follow the pattern to crochet more decrease stitches in the stitch loop. In the first round, we will crochet a total of 7 decrease stitches. 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. After completing the 7 short stitches in the first round, let's deal with the opening position. Pull the short needle to the right. We can see at the opening. There are two segments of thread. And one thread end. Pull the thread end inside to the right tightly. Then pull the outermost segment of thread again. Pull tight. In this way, the opening will shrink. Then we continue to crochet. Then with the first stitch. Which is the marker stitch. Return the stitch back along the original path. Insert it into the top of this weak grain. Crochet 1. Crochet 1 stitch. Twist the stitch. This way, the first round is completed. Next, crochet the second round. First, crochet a chain stitch. Then, we insert it into the first stitch, which is the same stitch as the draw needle. In the first stitch, we crochet two short stitches in the same stitch. First, complete the first short stitch. After the first stitch is completed, place a marker clip. For beginners, it's easy for us to count incorrectly. Then, once again, insert into the same stitch. Pull the yarn out. Crochet another stitch. In this way, we have completed two stitches in the first stitch. Next, we crochet two stitches in each of the following stitches. Insert into the second stitch. Crochet two stitches in the same hole. Then insert into the third stitch. Crochet two stitches out of the same hole. Crochet the rest of this round in the same way. The second round has a total of 14 stitches. Then take off the marker clip and crochet a slip stitch to connect with the first stitch. Next, crochet a chain stitch. We start crocheting the third round. The increasing pattern for the third round is every other stitch. Let's see how to crochet every other stitch. First, crochet a stitch in the first stitch. Place a marker clip in the first stitch, then in the second stitch. Add one stitch. Now we have completed a single crochet in the first stitch. Add a single crochet in the second stitch, then in the third stitch. In this way, we complete a group of skip one stitch and add one stitch. Then crochet a single crochet in the third stitch. Then continue in the fourth stitch. Add one stitch. In 
In this way, we complete two sets. Skip one stitch and add one stitch. This forms the pattern of skip one stitch and add one stitch. The effect of skip one stitch and add one stitch. Next, we follow this pattern. Continue to finish the third round. After completing the third round, a total of 21 single crochets. Remove the marker and crochet a slip stitch in the first stitch. Then crochet a chain stitch. We crochet the fourth round. For the fourth round, our increase pattern is add one stitch every two stitches. First, in the first stitch, make a short stitch. Place a marker button in the first stitch. Then, in the second stitch, make a short stitch. In the third stitch, add one stitch. This way we complete a group of adding one stitch every two stitches. Then knit the second group. In the third stitch, make a short stitch. In the fourth stitch, in the fourth stitch, make a short stitch. In the fifth stitch, make a short stitch. Add one stitch in the sixth stitch. This way we complete the second group, adding one stitch every two stitches. Now let's take a look. If we have formed the pattern of adding one stitch every two stitches, the effect of adding one stitch every two stitches. Afterwards, we follow this pattern and continue to complete the fourth round. After completing the fourth round with adding one stitch every two stitches, there will be a total of 28 short stitches. Continue to crochet a standing stitch, a pull-up stitch, connect the loops, continue to crochet a standing stitch. We start crocheting the fifth round. The stitch pattern for the fifth round is two. Skip three stitches and crochet one stitch. First, crochet a single stitch in the first stitch. A single stitch in the second stitch. Crochet a single stitch in the third stitch. Then, crochet a single stitch increase in the fourth stitch. This completes one skip three stitches and crochet one stitch. Then we crochet the second group. First, crochet a single stitch in the fifth stitch. Crochet a single stitch in the sixth stitch. Crochet a single stitch in the seventh stitch. Increase one stitch in the eighth stitch. This completes two groups. Skip three stitches and crochet one stitch. We crochet the fifth round following this pattern. After completing the fifth round, there are a total of 35 single stitches. We still crochet a single stitch in the first stitch as before. Insert the needle, then a knit stitch. Next, we crochet the sixth round. We crochet through the previous rounds. You can also see that the increases in each round are regular. In the first round, we make a ring with six short stitches. In the second round, we increase one stitch in each stitch. In the third round, we increase one stitch every other stitch. In the fourth round, we increase one stitch every two stitches. In the fifth round, we increase one stitch every three stitches. So, in the sixth round, we increase one stitch every four stitches. In the seventh round, we increase one stitch every five stitches. In the eighth round, we increase one stitch every six stitches. Then, following this increasing pattern, continue crocheting until the eighth round is completed. After completing the eight rounds for the base, from the ninth round, we crochet the body. Crochet and insert needle in every other stitch. Then crochet a knit stitch. Next, crochet the ninth round. Starting from the ninth round, we are now working on the body part. The body part is crocheted with no increase or decrease in single crochet stitches. Crochet a single crochet in each stitch. Continue crocheting this round. Crochet to the end position. Then crochet a slip stitch with the first stitch. A chain stitch. Next, start crocheting the 10th round. Similarly, crochet a single crochet in each stitch with no increase or decrease. We crochet the body. Crochet single crochet stitches continuously in this white section, with no increase or decrease. We crochet a total of 15 rounds. Crochet a total of 15 rounds. Now, let me teach you the crochet method for the following. After this, we will crochet on our own. We count the 15 rounds starting from the first round of the bottom. Our main body. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. After completing the 15 rounds, crochet a slip stitch with the first stitch, then crochet a chain stitch. Pull the yarn tight. Tuck in the yarn end. Next, let's switch to the blue thread. This position, we can offset it slightly. Offset it slightly. Bring in. First, hook a standing stitch. Then in the same stitch, hook a short stitch. The same for the back. Hook a short stitch in each stitch. After completing one round, and hook the draw out with the first stitch. Then a base stitch. We start crocheting the second round of this blue color. Hook a short stitch in each stitch. No need to increase or decrease stitches. Follow this crocheting method. Crochet without increasing or decreasing. We keep crocheting the blue part. Crochet a total of 10 rounds. We add this white main body. A total of 25 rounds need to be crocheted. Then we continue to crochet upwards. After completing the 25th round, we finish by hooking a draw out stitch. Pull the front end of the thread out. Hide the thread end. Then mark the position of the crochet hook. Make a mark on this position of the crochet hook. Fasten a stitch marker. Then count 11 stitches to the left and right. A total of 22 stitches. Count 11 stitches on each side, which is the position of the crochet hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 at this position. This side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. A total of 22 stitches. Turn to the back. Start crocheting the cover from the back. Insert the hook from the back. Start crocheting the cover part. Take the blue thread. Then make a standing stitch. Then in the first stitch. Then in the same stitch. Make a short stitch. Continue crocheting. In each stitch marker, hook a short needle in each stitch. Hook a total of 22 short needles. 3, 4, 5, 20, 21, 22. After completing 22 short needles, we hook a standing needle. Then flip the piece. Then continue hooking. From the back, pick up the standing needle. Hook a short needle in each stitch. Hook a total of 22 short needles. 2, 3, 4, 5, 22. After completing 22 short needles, hook a turning needle. Flip the paper. We flip the piece back and forth to hook. Hook back and forth. 
In the third round, the third row also hooks 22 short needles, without adding or subtracting. After completing the third row, hook a turning needle to flip the paper. In the fourth row, we need to add one stitch on each side, the leftmost stitch. Add one stitch to the first and last stitch. First, we are in the first stitch. Add one stitch first. In the same stitch of the first stitch, we crochet two short stitches. Crochet one short stitch in the remaining stitches. After completing 20 short stitches in the middle without increasing or decreasing, we are in the last stitch, in the same stitch, crochet and increase stitch. Then crochet a chain stitch. We start crocheting the fifth round. From the fifth round to the ninth round, we do not increase or decrease while crocheting. From the 5th round to the ninth round, we crochet each row without increasing or decreasing. 24 short stitches. We crochet by ourselves. Continue crocheting until the ninth round is completed. I will teach you the crochet method below. After completing the cover of the ninth round, crochet a chain stitch. Cut the yarn. Pull the yarn out. After completing this cover position, we'll start this way. Hook from this position. Thread entrainment. Then hook three standing pins. One, two, three. Winding in the first needle. Hook three long needles. We're counting a long needle here, so the first needle, let's hook one, just hook two long needles, every needle in the back, we hook three long needles, let's take a look at the needle, is that each row has a needle like this, such, the next order of the needle. And then we get to this corner. We'll go straight to the top needle. Pick these needles. Three long needles in each needle eye is the same. Good. And then I'll keep going. Straight hook. Let's finish all three circles. The last stitch.
and when you're done, if the side, the prying is quite powerful. We can also skip a few stitches here. You can skip two stitches, or just skip one stitch. Let's skip two stitches here. I skip two stitches here, then hook a crochet needle. Cut the thread. Pull out the scissors, then let's hide the thread. Then we flip this lid over. After flipping it over, after flipping it over, let's tidy up its shape. Does its shape look special now? Let's manually tidy up its folds. Next, use a yellow thread. The yellow thread goes over the lid. Hook a crochet needle around. Let's see. The lid is away from the edge. This is the first stitch. We're in the second stitch. Both in the second hole. First hole. Second hole. First hole. Second hole. First hole. Second hole. Anyway, when we pull it out, just make it look beautiful and attractive by pulling it out. Then we do it like this. Pull the thread out. Put the thread inside. Pull it out. Pull it out. Thread it into the next hole. Hook it like this from behind. Bring the thread out. Pull it into the front loop. Pull it into the front loop. Then go to the next hole. Hook it from behind. The length should be pulled appropriately. Then pull it into the last hole. Then we can turn at this row. We are around this. This is how we wrap it. Then we can be in this row. We can be in the second to last row, as a turning point. Or we can turn at the last row. Both are possible. According to your own preference. When hooking on the other side, we are also on the side, the first eye, the second eye, through the second eye. That's it. Then we cut the thread. Pull it out from the middle. Then from the back again. Push it back in. Then put it on the back. When we hide the thread, hide it again. Next, let's hook this foot. First, we make a loop. Above the fingers, make two loops. Its hooking method is the same as wrapping the body. It's the bottom wrapping. The first and second rounds of the bottom wrapping are the same. We spiral hook. The first round. Start with six short stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. The second round, the spiral hook does not need to hook the extraction needle. The second round is in each knitting wood. Add one stitch. The third round. After completing the second round, we crochet the third round. The third and fourth rounds are two rounds without increasing or decreasing. We complete the third and fourth rounds without adding or subtracting, hooking a short stitch in each stitch, without adding or cutting stitches. After completing the third round, we continue to crochet the fifth round, adding one stitch every other stitch. One short stitch. One short stitch. One added 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 stitch. After completing the fifth round, we start crocheting the sixth round. From the sixth to the seventh round, we crochet two rounds of short stitches without adding or subtracting. Hook one short stitch in each stitch. A total of 18 short stitches are crocheted. We crochet the sixth and seventh rows without adding or subtracting. After completing the seventh round, we crochet an inverted single crochet stitch with the first stitch. Then, place the inverted single crochet stitch in the rightmost position. Fold it in half. We. This circle has a total of 18 stitches. Then we fold it in half. Two stitches before and after form a group. Then we have nine stitches left. Then hook one upright stitch. Then insert it from the first stitch in the front and pass through the first stitch in the back. Hook these two stitches together. Each group is one stitch in the front and one stitch in the back. Hook them together. First, wrap the yarn around the hook. We are at the first stitch. Pass through the front and back two stitches together. First, hook a medium long stitch. Then wrap the yarn around the hook. In the same stitch, hook another long stitch. Then hook a braid stitch. Then wrap the yarn around the hook. In the next stitch, pass through both front and back. First, hook a long stitch. Wrap the yarn around the hook. In the same stitch, hook another medium long stitch. Then in the next stitch, hook a short stitch. Wrap the yarn around the hook. Insert it into the next stitch. In the same eye, we crochet a medium length needle. A long needle. And then a braid pin. Winding. In the next needle, hook a long needle first. And hook a medium length needle. And then in the next needle, hook a short needle. Crochet winding. Next needle, hook a long needle first. Hook a medium length needle. Winding. Wrap the thread and hook a long needle. And then a braid pin. The thread goes into the next needle. Hook a long needle first. And hook a medium length needle in the same needle. And then the last needle. We hook a silver 8 needle. A lucky needle.
Cut the wire. Thread pull. You don't have to leave this line too long. According to the horns of two ducklings, we're done. If the size is slightly different, we could go pull it. Pull it. Pull it to the same size. It sometimes hooks differently at the size. It's the strength of our hooks. Sometimes loose, sometimes tight. Due to inconsistent tightness, we stretch this way. Give it a little pull. The duck suture method. That's what we're sewed into. This position. Push this down. Press it and apply glue. Put it. Stick it on both sides. We can stick or sew. Next, the tail crochet. The tail part. We have a circular needle. Ring stitch. Our hooks and three circles of this body. Round one, round two, round three. It's the same, according to the single body approach. Hook it out three times. Crochet three loops according to the method of the bottom of the bag. Three laps. One, two, three. After three laps, let's crochet two more loops of undiminished stitches. Fourth and fifth laps, we crochet two loops of undiminished stitches. Four to five turns of undiminished short stitches. Let's hook the sixth round. Round six, start cutting. On the sixth lap, we cut one stitch from another. Hook a short needle in the first eye. The second needle and that third needle are then combined into one needle. New two, in the first order. Don't forget to mark it. And then crochet seven sets. A short needle. A simple needle. 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 A needle reduction. A short needle. A simple needle. So, after lap 6, let's hook the 7th round. The 7th circle is each needle. Every 2 stitches and 1 stitch. A total of 7 simple stitches. Single needle. Double simple needle. Cubic simple needle. Quadric simple needle. Five simple needles. Six simple needles. Five simple needles. Six simple needles. Six cutting needles. Seven cutting needles. After seven stitches, and the first needle. Hook drawing needle. And then a standing needle. Cut the wire, pull out first. To this ball. That's what it looks like when we're done filling. It'll swell up. After filling, after filling and tying, we stitch it up. This position. And stitch it in place. And then after that. And then we crochet the band. Bag strap. We are two locking pins first. A. Two. Then return to the second last stitch. Pull the back loop, which is its inner loop.
hook a short stitch, then a single crochet. Turn the work. After turning, pull the stitch. Hook a short stitch. A single crochet. Turn the work. Pull the stitch. After turning, pull the top stitch. Hook a short stitch. A single crochet. Turn. Pick up the stitch. Hook. Break the yarn. A single crochet. Turn. Pick up the stitch. Hook. Break the yarn. After reaching the desired length, hook a slip stitch. Cut the yarn. Pull the yarn end out. With blue yarn. Insert from here. After each row, there will be a hole here. We will pick up the yarn from this hole. Make an edge. First hook a single crochet. Then insert into the same hole. Hook another short stitch. And then we go through the next hole. Hook, broken needle. This is the next hole. Hook a short needle. Next hole hook, short needle. That's how we hook it back. Hook a short needle in each hole. Keep hooking back. Hook a short needle in each hole. Hook the side first. When I hook this last stitch, we're in the last hole. Hook four short needles. A. Second. Three. Four. And then turn to the other side. Start hooking a short needle in each hole. And then just keep hooking. 